In season one, episode 11 of the very popular children's show Bluey, aptly titled, I get knocked down, but I get up again. Bluey and her dad are sitting on a bench watching the other children on the playground. Each child is attempting and struggling to do something new. Bluey wants to go help, but her dad encourages her to sit and wait so that the other young characters can learn on their own. They watch as each character tries and fails a number of times before finally succeeding, albeit sometimes in their own unique ways. Your limbic system is like Bluey, trying to rush in and save you every time it thinks you might be challenged by something. The limbic system is a part of the brain that is involved in emotional regulation. One of the major functions of the limbic system is to determine whether something is a threat or not. When the limbic system is overactive, it may detect threats when it doesn't need to. This can lead to a number of symptoms, including sensory dysregulation, like thinking something is freezing when it is just cold, burning when it is just warm, being sensitive to sunlight, sounds, things like that, or anxiety, food sensitivities, or more. It might make you feel as if you're constantly triggered because your brain is detecting threats to your well-being everywhere. This is simply the job of the limbic system. But in today's society, there are a lot more threats than there used to be. The sound of your phone buzzing might be coded as a threat. Traffic could be seen as a threat. Someone lightly touching you without thinking about it might be seen as a threat. While it is helpful to accept the way your body and brain are currently working together, it can also be helpful to begin an ongoing dialogue with your limbic system. What you need to do is encourage your limbic system to be more like Bluey's dad. Every day when you wake up, remind your limbic system how strong and resilient you are, and then ask it to step back and just watch like Bluey's dad did. If you're truly in danger, your limbic system can rush in and save you, but most of the time you're completely fine and you don't need to be saved. You don't need stress hormones to rush through your body at the scent of a certain smell in the grocery store aisle or the thought of talking in front of other people or eating a certain food. So just remind your limbic system, daily because it's very protective and somewhat stubborn, to be like Bluey's dad. Sit back, watch, trust you to learn and grow, and only rush in to save you in the case of true emergencies. This daily conversation with your limbic system will help you to come back to a state of calm and resilience so that your mind and body can truly work together to love your beautiful life.